Hello, if Westboro Baptist Church followed the law of attraction, this would not be their web page name. What could be some alternatives? How about GodLovesHeterosexuality.com? Now, why would I say that? The law of attraction simply states if you focus on something, you go to it, you become it, you adopt it, you embrace it. And thus, it's better to pursue something rather than be against something. In the debate with John Rankin versus Fred Phelps, John Rankin mentioned that love defines hate, not hate defines love. Basically, he was saying that God is affirmative rather than negating. So if they have GodLovesHeterosexuality.com, then people would know what it was about. Even some Republicans have been affirmative like that. Instead of being anti-gay, they were pro-heterosexuality. It's easier and better to be against, to be for something rather than against something. Interesting enough, look at all the Westboro Baptist Church videos, and they have videos showing stuff they hate. Now, if they really hated it, wouldn't be wouldn't the best thing be to ignore it? You certainly would think so. If you want to get away from something, don't show it. But their videos are full of lewd sex scenes with people kissing, scantily, all this stuff. You even see some cleavage sometimes. So if they were really against it, why would they show it? That's the nature of repression, my friends. Tim Phelps was being interviewed by Reggie the Infidel Guy, internet radio program, and on the video, on the radio program, he mentioned golden showers. And Reggie thought it was funny, he knew what it was. If someone was really innocent, if someone really was pure, they wouldn't know what a golden shower was. And if you don't know what one is, I'm not going to tell you. Thus, that's proof that when you're against something so strong, it becomes more and more. A lot of spiritual people say, if you say, don't think of an elephant, you think about it more. And Westboro Baptist Church is all over the place. They hate gays, and gay scenes are all over the place in their videos. Interesting enough, at the very start, Fred Phelps waved that book of the Gage Park in Topeka was this gay site. I wonder if any homosexuals, after hearing that, said, hey, we better go to Gage Park. Now, stuff like that can happen when you don't follow the law of attraction and when you're a moral crusader. That's the nature of the beast.